Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nefren Nefs Tackwitz, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Today, Tales from the Internet, I want to talk about PCs. Windows 11 is coming out, and Windows 11 is only going to be supporting Intel 8th generation chips and above and equivalent AMD units, too. Also Qualcomm, but really, who has Qualcomm? So every year, Intel brings out a new generation of chips for the i5, 7, 3, and 9. Right now, they're up to generation 11. But Windows 11 is only going to be supporting generation 8 and above chips, which is freaking crazy. A 7th generation i7 is going to be able to do almost anything that you want it to. It's going to be able to run SolidWorks. It's going to be able to play Doom. It's going to be able to play Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto. What more can you want, Microsoft? Now, a lot of people are given a lot of reasons why this is going on. It could be because of the Spectre meltdown virus. It could be because everyone is expected to port these units distant future and a lot of OEMs don't want to do that and I kind of think that's BS. I'm concerned about more e-waste getting out there because while there are a lot of e-waste facilities that will recycle these things and do the proper things for it, there's also a lot of places that will just buy e-waste, buy the ton, you'll send it out to them, they will take the e-waste, they'll set it on fire, they'll get the shiny and the copper out of it, they'll go and sell that and everyone around them including the people setting these things on fire and collecting the copper and whatnot will end up getting health problems because you're not supposed to do that. It's universally stupid, man. It's bad for your health. But yeah, Windows 11 not working on 8th generation chips and above. It's just, uh, it's really sad. Most industry computers are going to be worthless all of a sudden. And that's a little bit concerning. Now, Windows 10 is going to be supported up until 2025. This buys us some time. Hopefully, Microsoft will change their mind about it, but I do have a huge looming concern. I mean, Windows 10 could take, like, almost anything you threw at it. Old systems, new systems, black systems, blue systems. It's like, give your head a shake, Microsoft. What's going on? I think I only have one computer that is above 7th generation, so we'll have to wait and see what's going on here, but I'm a little disappointed in Microsoft for this situation. I'm worried there's going to be too much e-waste. I'm worried too many people are going to have to buy new systems. And on top of all this stuff, we're still going to be getting $300 computers that are compatible, that are slow as crap. So Microsoft, don't be telling me you want your computers to run quickly on this stuff. Because if you wanted it to run quickly, you wouldn't let people use hard drives. I mean, platter drives. Anyways, those are my complaints for the day. Thanks for listening. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other. And seriously, make sure you recycle.